Well, as it so, as it so happens, I happen to have these, uh, <coughs> these action stands. Uh, it's just wonderfully enough um, hold right onto these pieces right here and everything's free and clear and so I can go ahead and do a burn in doing is dressing this and what that'll do is that pulls the pulls the sliding valve down in a little bit harder into the wood Tremendous amount of torque. This is this is not a lot of vacuum. This is about 20 inches of vacuum. In fact, uh, you can see you know, if you can see this. But I don't even have to actually make a connection on here. get the motor to run. I'm not even actually making a full connection on here. This motor is running at approximately five inches of vacuum. You can see that this hose, you can see this hose right here is a lot bigger than this. So it's not making a not making a good seat on here. I haven't even checked the timing on this yet. Uh, I'm going to show you how we do that a little bit. A little bit. Uh, it's actually pretty simple. I'll just turn this around. There is a slight lope in this motor, uh, which means that the motor sat uh, in this position right here for a fairly long time. That's what causes a rope. It's an un unevenness. It's an un unevenness in the age of the cloth on the bellows. Obviously this motor sat right here for quite some time. Well, overnight I'm going to leave it 180 degrees out. What I'm looking at for the for the timing is to see where the sliders come up to. I don't know if you can see that from where you are. Let's see if we can zoom in on this a little bit. And what I'm looking at is the amount of space between the top of the hole here and the bottom of the slider. And all of these should be identical. This one right here isn't un even uncovering the top. And in this case, adjusting these is just as, as simple as moving this metal rod right here. Just bending this rod a little tiny bit.
and now they're all the same. And actually, now with this very, very small amount of vacuum applied, you can see how the lope, how that unevenness and the tension on the bellows affects the performance of the motor. You can see that it's draining to get over that area where it's where there's kind of a hump. Sometimes just operating the motor for a, an extended period of time, like we're going to be doing right now, that I'm going to let this burn in for about a half an hour. Um, sometimes just burning the motor in in a situation where you've got these bellows that are uneven like that will help alleviate the problem just by exercising the motor. So we'll let that sit for a while and uh, let those valves burn in. And one thing that's nice is that there's no perceptible vibration in the motor, which means that all of the valves uh, are all relatively equally tight. Um, if they weren't, if there was one chamber that was working harder than the others, it would come out as a vibration and you would see everything here would be shaking. And the fact that it's not shaking uh, is an indication that, uh, that the motor is fairly well balanced in terms of its utilization of the vacuum. So we'll just let that go for a while.